It's winter here in Canada, and although the B7 is winter parked these days, I do have a full set of winter tires and rims that I usually store. Typically, they're just sitting in the corner of the garage in some tire bags, but this year I decided to get something a little bit nicer looking and decided to try out the Audi Genuine Accessory Wheel Totes and these felt pads. I found out that they're actually made by the manufacturer Kurgo, but the local dealerships and Audi tend to brand them for themselves when they give them to you. And a small lesson learned on my part, make friends with your part guy at the dealership. Uh, these run $80. As it turns out, both in Canadian and American. So for us up here, that was actually a good buy for me. And I bought two sets of them, one for the B7, one for the B8. And uh, gave me a couple bucks off each one. I've also noticed that they're more and more willing to negotiate when you show them the online prices from places like ECS Tuning, at least here in Canada. So always uh, start that conversation. They might actually give you something. The point to using the wheel totes and felt pads are pretty obvious. You don't want to stack tires like I am right now. This is just for an example. But when the top of your rim is touching the, the bottom of the one on top of it, it can get dirty, can get damaged if you have nicer wheels than these ones right here. And uh, usually I write a little note to myself, something like this, front right is what that means. So I can watch the tire rotation pattern and I can flip it back and forth each winter season. But obviously it gets weathered and mashed up. And here's the end result. I think they actually look great and the colors look cool and I'm a bit of a sucker for Audi's new branding where the four rings are flat. I left one of these off a little bit so I could show you a few attributes of the material. I thought it was interesting to see that this nylon, I think it is, is really thin, kind of crunchy. It reminds me of old snow pants, but it does seem to be pretty tough. Likewise for the inside, there's a double stitch on each side layer of this kind of thick, rubbery. It's not too thick, but definitely uh, strong enough that it's not going to tear through. And a whole side-to-side -side band of Velcro that mates onto this double strip here. And you can pull this super tight, and you do need to, as I found out, to get enough tension on here so when you pick it up, the bag doesn't stretch even further and then slide around. One more small feature that I appreciated about this is that on both sides there's a pull tab. It's actually a loop um, and you can pull on here pretty tight and Velcro down to either side. But the small thing is it's slightly curved. A lot of the times it's totally flat and you end up hitting just like a, a straight section of Velcro. It's actually curved so you can get some nice contact. So that was good of them to think of that. Another nice little touch about these totes is that under the handle behind this clear little plastic window, they give you a card and you can mark down your tire positioning when it comes time to rotate your tires for next season. So this is going to be a lot better than what my method was before and I'm just going to track the year and what position they were in knowing what the, the starting one was. The felt quality seems to be pretty decent too, although it's probably just reused material. It's nice and thick, and I think the look of it is kind of cool. Lastly, there's the clips. And if you're like me, you have trust issues with anything that's tiny and plastic. But these actually do seem to be able to stand up to the stress a little bit. Um, all you do is pull the tab all the way to the front, and right when you think it's probably going to snap off, clicks open just like that, and you can attach it to the side of the bag.